In this video on the master data information add-on, I will show you how to copy item and or copy master data information on item with the master data information add-on. It's very fast and quick to demonstrate. If you go into NAV, you can either copy a complete item with the underlying master data information or just parts of it. So I want to copy my mountain bike to make a new item number called city bike. And with the menu copy item, I get a selection where it's possible to say which item to copy from, in this case, the mountain bike. And to create a new item, I want to call it 1003. And I can select whether to copy unit of measure codes, extended text, purchase and sales prices, and all the information on the master data. And of course, if I deselect those, it won't be copied. And I press OK, and it creates a new item for me. I can enter this new item, change the item description, like this. And I can go into my specification and update because in this case I selected to get everything in there. So I just need to modify the things that doesn't go for this bike. For instance, it's a city bike and it might be a three hop gear city bike, but the rest of it might be okay. So now I've actually copied everything from this item number to a new item number. And I can see on my long description, it's updated with the city bike uh, as a three gear bike. So it's very quickly to copy both items and the underlying master data information. This doesn't go for vendor and, and customer, only for items. If I want to copy the master data information for an existing item, I could use the same functionality, copying from the item number. So if I want to take from one item number to another, uh, I just need to enter the item number I'm copying from and to, but I leave this check mark out and it won't insert the new item. In this way, I just copy the master data information instead. So it's easy for me to create a new item and pick the master data information from another item.